Hi, welcome to part two of my three-part series on 3D printing. Today, I'm gonna to explain how different 3D printers work and why you would use one type over another. First, let's talk about the most common consumer level 3D printers. These are called Fused Deposition Modeling Printers, or FDM for short. They work by melting the raw material through a nozzle and then the nozzle lays out the object layer by layer. Because the material of one layer is molten when it's laid on top of the previous layer, they fuse together. And that's how an entire object is printed, one layer at a time. The material for FDM printers is called filament, which is typically some kind of plastic and comes in spools. Filament can be very cheap or expensive depending on what you're using. But I printed all the 3D prints in my videos to date using generic PLA filament, which only cost me $15 per spool, and I still have a lot of filament left. For something like this, it probably costs less than 25 cents to print. The more expensive filaments have a variety of benefits. Some are designed to look like other materials, like metal or wood, and others are made from completely different material, like durable nylon or even flexible TPE. The other option for consumer level 3D printers is known as stereolithography, or SLA. Instead of melting plastic filament, SLA printers use a liquid resin, which is hardened by a laser. The SLA printer builds the object by hardening each layer one at a time, similar to FDM printers. However, SLA printers can get much higher resolution and finer detail than FDM printers. And the printed objects are pretty close to smooth right out of the printer. That advantage comes at a steep cost, unfortunately. There aren't very many SLA printers on the market that are affordable for consumers, and even those are pricey. And the cost of the resin is also expensive, especially compared to something like the PLA filament used by FDM printers. There are many other kinds of 3D printers out there, but these other types are still too expensive. One type, selective laser sintering, uses lasers to fuse metal powder together. It's a really cool technology, but the cheapest SLS machines start at $10,000, and it goes up quickly from there. So it's great if you're a business that needs rapid prototyping and quick turnarounds on strong metal parts. But for hobbyists, the price point is still way too high. Now, you might be wondering, why should I pick one type of printer over another? If you're comparing SLA and FDM, it comes down to what you need to print and how much you wanna spend. FDM printers are great for learning about 3D printing, experimenting with different types of filaments, and rapid prototyping. And if cost is your biggest concern, FDM is definitely the more affordable option. Nowadays, you can find some printer kits for only a few hundred dollars. But if you need to be able to print a lot of detail in your model, or you need the model to come out of the printer looking shiny and smooth, an FDM printer might not work for you. If you can afford the more expensive printers and resin, SLA printers will be a better fit for your needs. Thanks for watching the second part of the series. Stay tuned for the last segment where I'll show you some of the cool ways 3D printing is being used right now. And if you want to stay up to date with my videos, subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on notifications using the bell icon. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.